Welcome back to this two-part tutorial on events and delegates. Um, in the previous video we set up a very simple script to control our sun handler. So we have a sun in our game, our two events are on sun up and on sun down. When the sun is up um, our solar panel reacts to that event and starts rotating when the sun is down the panel stops rotating. I'm just going to demonstrate what we've done so far. So the sun is down, I'm going to toggle it, the sun is now up, the panel's rotating very uh, generically and when we stop when the sun is down the solar panel stops rotating So, and then we can also destroy the panel which also unsubscribes the game object to the events okay guys but in this video the purpose of this video is to explain the, some of the more powerful features of events and delegates the first one I really want to drive home is that we can duplicate prefabs who are already subscribed to events and all of those prefabs in the game or instances in the game can react to that event and that is a really important fact because now we can use events and delegates on any unit in the game we can create prefabs for our unit like our robot and every single robot in the game can now react to events and that is really powerful so to demonstrate this I've created a prefab for our individual panel and here it is and I can duplicate it as many times as I like maybe ten times just to um, demonstrate how powerful this is. It doesn't take much overhead in Unity to listen to an event. So here we go, 10 panels and as you can see each of them are individual but they all contain that script, the panel control script. So every single one of these is listening to our sun. Okay guys? So let's play the game now. So as you can see this button is a lot darker because the button is actually overlapping. So toggle boom all of them now start rotating not just one of them okay so as you can imagine if we have hundreds of different objects in the game if each solar panel has its own efficiency and its own mechanical values they can each react differently slightly differently to this event so, and that's really powerful okay so we can toggle them on and off and as you can see we can delete them one by one okay so that is the first thing I wanted to drive home that we can duplicate prefabs Okay, number two, we can uh, we can pass data through the event delegate. I can say delegate, and the more data you pass through the delegate, the more you can configure your events. And uh, I'm not going to use this value, but I'm going to create one value in this handler just to demonstrate how to do it. So I want to pass in a float. I'm going to call it Sun Strength. I know it's pretty impossible to measure the sun strength, but just for example's sake. And I'm going to create a separate method to actually generate a random value, so public float sun strength. Okay, so all we're going to do is return a random range between, I don't know, 60 and 100. Why 60 and 100? Because we're in a desert environment, I think the sun will be very strong. So, realistic strength here which returns a, a value between 60 and 100 and um, we can use this value to pass it through our events because our now our handler um, has signified that we need this value we need to pass this value through all of our events okay so we need to pass it through here in this case we call our methods in order to call our events so um, we can put float sun strength here let's pass through the sun str strength in these two methods Okay, and uh, we simply pass that value to the event. Okay, guys, so we need to work out this sun strength somehow, and we work it out where we call this method. Okay, so we call the method when we click the button. So within the uh, method calls here, we can just pass through this method, returns a random range, that uh, value is then passed on to the event. Okay, so the thing is, we, now our handler has a value, um, has arguments. Those arguments also need to be included in our methods that define what happens when the event is called. And that is um, defined here. So again, float, sun, strength, and also down here, sun down. Float, sun, strength. So we've passed them through when the event is called. That value is then used in these methods. Okay, so let's see if we've missed any out, I don't think so here we go, it took a while to update so I hope you saw what's going on there guys, if we define a value any argument within the event handler every single event 
conforming to that handler needs to needs that value, so the sun's strength. And so we've passed the sun's strength through this method, which we've called down here, and we take that value and pass it through the event. And that this particular value at this time is then used in this method here. So that is really powerful as well. Now every single object who subscribed can use that value in its own unique way. Okay, so that's the second thing we can do. We can pass data through the delegate and events. Okay, the third thing I wanted to mention is that we can subscribe multiple game objects to these events. So not only prefabs of the same object, but multiple objects, not only one prefab. Not only uh, prefabs. So we can subscribe um, events to any game object we like. Um, in this case, I think I'm going to use my little robot. I've created a particle system here, if I can go through my scene. Um, as you can see, I've got my robot and I've created an antenna kind of signal particle effect. If I activate this, um, I don't know if you guys will see it in the scene view. Here we go. So when the sun is up, my robot will be able to communicate using his antenna. When the sun is down, I don't want him to communicate, so I'm going to turn this off. So just another way we can use the events to trigger more things happening in the game. Um, if you wanted to, you can subscribe um, to the, with the unit script, but in this case, every single unit in the scene will now be subscribed to, the, to these events. So instead of doing that, I'm going to create another script for my robot. Robot control. Okay, and I'm just going to drag that script on my robot. Robot control. Down the bottom there. So we can do this on start if we wanted to. Again, like in the previous video, sun events uh, on sun up plus equals and the event I want to use is called activate antenna. Okay, and um, I also want to subscribe when the sun is down so I can turn off my antenna so this can be deactivate antenna okay guys I'm not going to worry about deactivating it it'll probably be on destroy okay um, so actually we should really do that because the chances are in my game my unit will be destroyed at one point if the unit dies so I'm just going to put minus equals minus equals okay so we need to define these two um, uh, methods like we did in our panel control, sun up and sun down. But in this case, I'm going to use activate antenna and deactivate antenna. So public void, activate antenna. And remember, these methods need to conform to the event handler, the same as um, our sun handler. So bring in the strength, float sun strength. Okay, guys. So you might imagine how we can use this data to affect the antenna. Maybe the stronger the sun, the, the better communication we, our robot can receive and, and also pass out to other communication devices. So deactivate. So I'm simply going to put this transform find child. Um, I think I called it antenna dot game object as game object. So I'm going to store this game object firstly actually. Game object antenna equals this transform find child. And then we can say antenna uh, active, not audio active, equals true. But this method is going to activate the antenna. Simple as that. And when we deactivate it, we can say false. Okay guys, so all we've done is created a little script to attach to our robot. Everything else we don't need to touch. It's already been configured. We're just taking the same data we've subscribed to and um, the same data to the event we've subscribed to and then using that data to make the robot behave in his own way. So I'm just going to, we've already attached the script to the robot. Let's play the game and see if it works. Okay, so nothing's happening, the antenna's been disabled, but if I toggle the sun on, boom, the antenna comes on and now the robot can communicate. Okay, and depending on the sun's strength, maybe the robot can communicate quicker or slower if the sun's strength is very low. So, as you can see, this is really powerful stuff, especially in strategy games where you want things to be a bit random and every single scenario to be different. So, events in delegates, really good in RTS games.
So these are the three things I wanted to mention in this video. We can duplicate the same object and because that script will be attached to that object every single one will react to the event. Okay. Number two, we can pass data through the delegate and events. We can uh, define any arguments we want. We can have game objects or anything guys, any object in the game. And the third thing multiple objects not only the, the one prefab in this case the panel you can use as many objects in this case we've used um, our robots we've attached a new scripts to the robot and um, it turns out the sun can affect his communication signal okay so three really really awesome things you can use with events and delegates so this is the thing I wanted to mention in this video in the next one we'll be moving on with our projects and creating our health system and advancing this game. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.